I, I tell you what, let's keep it simple today. I know that you guys have heard about these mainstream apps a million times. That is the reason why I'm trying to stay away from these mainstream apps. Some of them I can't avoid because they are actually really good. Hopefully, the apps I'm going to show you today will add some additional value into your Wear OS ecosystem. But at the end of the day, you will be the judge of that. <laughs> it's a wrap. This app will let you add up to seven apps into one tile. Does that make sense? I think it does. You can add any app into one tile as long as it is up to seven and I am using this to separate between Google and Samsung apps. It is called Favorite App Tile. Check it out. It is really neat to use. If you have any issues with your battery life for your Wear OS watch, you can download this battery monitor app. I know, I know we shouldn't have come to this, but yet here we are. It will also monitor the temperature and that is especially important when you are a Galaxy Watch user, which is prone to overheating. I mean, not you, but the watch, obviously. This particular app only came to life because the developer was too lazy to use his phone. He sat in a cafe and said, nope, not doing this. I'm going to develop an app for my Wear OS watch. It is so simple to use. You can turn on or off your hotspot via your Wear OS watch. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I recently got into the finance sector just out of curiosity. And this app is called Schwab Mobile. You can download it and then you can check your indices and breaking news and what have you on the watch. And you can see how it develops if you are into this S&P 500 or any other indices see that will be on there go and check it out if you are into news that are personalized basically you want to customize that well then this one here is for you it is called peak news and you can basically put your rss feed in i just put in google news here as you can see but you can customize it to your own rss feed and then you have it on your watch and you can basically check it out and you can watch the headline but also a little bit more this app is for anybody who does not have this feature included in their ecosystem system like Samsung for example it is called find my phone and this is really useful it will automatically alert you when you remove yourself from your phone or when you remove yourself from the watch and it is left behind you will get an alert an alarm will go off and you can trace it and track it obviously as you can do with these apps and that is very useful when you don't have this in your own ecosystem since the offline capabilities has been added to google maps it makes it so much more valuable to use you should really go and check it out i've used it numerous times now other people are raving about this i'm not advertising this but it is really useful for your Wear OS ecosystem and certainly a must-have app yes we know this up uh, youtube music we know hang on but no 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 hang on before you go i have an explanation for you look there's a logical reason why i recommend the youtube music app over spotify most of us are watching videos on the youtube platform anyway that probably means that you have a youtube premium subscription and as you know youtube music is included in that subscription it kind of brings the cost down if you want to spend more money for spotify obviously that is your choice